ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏக்க லைவா டுடே ஃபார் யோர் ப்ரோஸ் லெசன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு பிகின் அ நியூ லெசன் த நேம் ஆஃப் த லெசன் இஸ் பிஸ்டால்ட் ஆக்ஸ் அண்ட் தி ஆத்தர் இஸ் சக்கி The name of the lesson is the stalled ox. The author is Saki. Let's understand the meaning of the word stalled. Stalled means to stop or to prevent. Prevent someone or something from moving. And ox is the animal. which is actually the bull which you all would be familiar with so the name of the lesson is the stalled ox before we begin let's get familiar with the author hector hugh munro the scotsman who wrote under the pen name of saki so the name the original name of the author is hector hugh munro he was a scotsman he belonged to scotland which is in in england great britain now he is an englishman and he wrote under the pen name of saki he was a talented writer of wit and wisdom wit means humor and wisdom means sensible his story was both humor and it had a lot of sense and meaning he is the best remembered as a master of short stories he is considered to be a master of short stories all his works are short stories and he is really a master in it most of his stories are delightfully light hearted and makes fun of human beings and their peculiarities most of his stories are very delightful to read it's very fun filled and humorous for the reader to read and it makes fun of the peculiarities of human beings peculiarities means each human being is different they are unique each human being is unique and different isn't it so Hector uh, our author Saki makes fun of these peculiarities in a very light-hearted and a delightful way There is an element of satire in all his stories including the stall box Now satire means it is a humorous way of criticizing something or someone and it, and in this story stall box also satire has an important part in all the stories of saki satire plays a very important role and he makes fun of the peculiarities of human beings peculiarities means each human being is different in their way of behavior in their mannerisms and so on so uh, the author has very uh, in a very fun filled way makes fun of their peculiarities before we begin before we begin let's get introduced to the characters of the story the main characters of our story <coughs> theophil ashley he is a first main character he is an artist by profession theophil ashley is the first important character of the story who is an artist by profession The next important character is Adela Pinksford. She is Ashley's neighbor. Adela Pinksford is Ashley's neighbor. And the third important character is the ox, the animal. It is the most important character rather of this story. It is around this ox the whole story revolves. It is rather the central figure of the story. Let's read and find out how. Now let's have an introduction of the story. This is a brief outline of our story. You may have seen an ox in a field 
But have you seen one inside a house? What do you think happens when an ox enters the sitting room and eats up the flowers in the vases? This is a brief outline of our story. You may have seen an ox grazing in an open field. But have you seen one entering the living room of a house and eating up the flowers in the vases? That is what is going to happen in this story. How does the ox get into the house and how are they going to chase it away? Let's read it. Now we are going to begin our story. Theophil Ashley was an artist by profession. As I told you all, <coughs> Theophil Ashley was an artist by profession. He was very good at his work and could paint any subject he could think of. He was very talented painter and he could paint on any subject. But circumstances had forced him to specialize in pictures of cows. Circumstances means situation. <coughs> there was a situation which led him to specialize in pictures of cows. What was that circumstance that had made him to specialize in pictures of cows? We will read ahead. On one side of his garden, there was a small field in which a neighbor kept some small cows. So on one side of his garden, there was a small field. In that field, a neighbor had some cows. At noon, at noon in summer time, the cows stood deep in tall grass under the shade of a group of trees with spots of sunlight falling on their smooth brown backs. During summer, what will happen is the cows used to come to that field to graze. They stood in that densely grown grass under a group of shady trees and through the trees sunlight used to fall on it. It was a beautiful sight. Ashley had once painted a beautiful picture of two peaceful looking cows under a green tree with the grass and sunlight all around them. So Ashley what he did is he loved this beautiful sight and once he made a beautiful painting of two cows standing under a tree. The Royal Academy had chosen it for its summer exhibition. The Royal Academy had chosen this picture for the summer exhibition. Now Ashley's picture <coughs> was very much liked by the Royal Academy. The Royal Academy in Britain it is an official organization which encourages the painters and artists. So this Royal Academy liked this picture of cows which was painted by Ashley and they displayed it in the summer exhibition. The Royal Academy most respected authority of its kind in the country likes its artists to be orderly. So the Royal Academy was the most respected <coughs> academy and it wanted it, its artists to be orderly. What is meant by orderly? Let's read. If they are good at painting one sort of picture, then that is the kind of picture they should stick to. If the members are good at painting one kind of pictures, they had to paint only those type of pictures. They cannot change and paint. Now Ashley had painted the pictures of cows which was widely recognized and accepted. It was very much appreciated. So Ashley had to specialize in the pictures of cows. Ashley's two attempts to paint something different were terrible failures. Ashley attempted to paint something different after painting the pictures of cows but it was not successful. They were not ex approved by the academy and returned. So the academy did not approve Ashley's paintings, uh, paintings of other subjects. They wanted him to paint only paintings of cows. <coughs> Ashley then produced a shaded corner where sleeping cows stand dreaming. Then Ashley again painted a picture of a cow. A shaded corner where sleeping cows stand dreaming. That was the title of his picture. And was back in favor once again. So here now the Royal Academy 
again began to support Ashley. He became a very favorable mem member of the Royal Academy. <coughs> Adela Pinksford's problem. Now I had introduced Adela Pinksford in the introduction. She is Ashley's neighbor. <coughs> she had a problem. What is her problem? Let's see. On a fine afternoon in late autumn, Ashley was finishing off a picture of grass when his neighbor Adela Pinksford began knocking very loudly on his door. So one fine afternoon, Ashley was finishing off a picture of grass and suddenly he heard his neighbor Adela Pinksford knocking, banging very loudly on his door. When Ashley opened the door, let's see what Adela has to say. There is an ox in my garden, she announced, explaining her noisy entrance. When Ashley opened the door, Adela entered the house and told him that there was an ox in her garden. An ox, said Ashley, rather foolishly. He could not imagine why Adela should want to tell him such a thing. What kind of ox? So Ashley is confused and puzzled. He doesn't, he, he is not able to understand why Adela should come and tell him about this. And he again asks her a question. What kind of ox is that? Oh, I don't know what kind, answered the lady angrily. Now she is getting impatient with Ashley. And she is replying that she doesn't know what kind of ox that is. Just an ordinary ox. What I don't like about it is that it is in my garden. She is again says that it's just an ordinary ox. But she doesn't like it inside her garden. I have spent two weeks in that garden getting it neat and tidy for the winter. Why? She explains the reason. She says that she has worked hard in her garden for more than two weeks getting it neat and tidy for the winter. She has worked on her garden very hard for two weeks. An ox walking about it won't help things and the ox Walking inside the garden will spoil all the hard work. That was what she was trying to say. Besides, it is treading on flowers. The ox was also stamping on the flowers. So she was very worried that the ox is going to spoil all the hard work she has put in for her garden. How did it get into the garden? asked Ashley. Ashley is again asking another question as to how the ox got into the garden. I think it came in by the gate, said the lady impatiently. Now Adela is getting even more impatient with Ashley. He is not trying to help her, he is just asking her some questions. So she replies that she thought that the uh, ox would have entered only through the gate. It couldn't have climbed over the walls and I don't think Anyone dropped it from an aeroplane. Now she makes fun of Ashley's foolish question. She says, she says that the gate, the gate would have kept open and so the ox would have walked in through the gate and the ox could not have climbed over the walls. Surely the ox could not have climbed over the walls and come inside the garden or no one would have dropped the ox into her garden from an aeroplane. So Adela is trying to make fun of Ashley's foolishness. The important question is not how it got in but how to get it out. Adela is saying that now the important issue is not how the ox got into the garden but how to chase it away. Won't it go by itself? asked Ashley. Ashley is again asking her another question. Will the ox not go by itself? If it wanted to go by itself, said Adela Pigsford rather angrily, I should not have come here to talk to you about it. I am nearly all alone. She again says, if the ox would go by itself, I would not have come here to ask you for help. Please understand that I am all alone. She was all alone and she needed somebody's help to chase that ox. The servant is having her afternoon off and the cook is in bed with a headache. Her servant had taken the afternoon off and her cook 
has a very bad headache and so there is no one to help her at home. At school, they may have taught us how to remove a large ox from a small garden. Now again, Ashadila is trying to make fun of Ashley. She says that during her school days, maybe they would have taught us how to remove a large ox from a small garden. I suppose, but if they did, I cannot remember what they said. If they may have taught us, but now I don't remember what they told at school. All I could think was that you were a near neighbor and a person who paints cows. She says that she thought that he is the, his, her neighbor and he paints cows. I thought you must be familiar with the subjects you painted and that you might be of some help. Possibly I was wrong. She says that she thought that since Ashley painted pictures of cows, he might be familiar with dealing with the animal and she thought that he might help her. But now she says that she might be wrong. I paint dairy cows, certainly admitted Ashley, but I do not have any experience in dealing with wandering oxen. Ashley replies that yes, uh, he does paint cows, farm cows, but he does not have any experience in dealing with the oxen. I have seen how cowboys do it in movies of course. He has just seen cowboys dealing with oxen in the movies only. But they always have horses and lot of other equipment. But the cowboys will have horses and another lot of equipments to deal with the ox. Adela Pinksford said nothing. She said led the way to her garden. Adela Pinksford said nothing. She just led Ashley to her garden. It normally seemed a fair sized garden. It was a <coughs> fair sized garden means it was a medium sized garden. <coughs> but it looked very small with the ox standing in it. Now the garden was quite normal sized but the ox was a huge animal and the garden looked very small with the ox standing in front of the garden. The ox was a huge animal. This is the first description of the ox. It was a very huge animal. It looked a little dangerous also. It was dull red about the head and shoulders, dirty white on the back legs and it had large red eyes. This is the description of the ox. It had dull red in its body and it had dirty white on its legs and it had large red eyes. So the ox was very huge and it looked very dangerous. How are they going to drive out the ox? Will Ashley and Adela successfully drive out the ox? What is going to happen? Let's read and find out in the next part of our story. To receive our online lessons, please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates. Thank you very much.